How you doing guys? This is going to be an in-depth step-by-step guide to using the Clockology app properly, avoiding beginner mistakes. This app allows you to change your Apple Watch from something boring like this to something more appealing like this. So I made a video before showing you how I turned my Apple Watch into an amazing looking Rolex Rainbow Daytona watch, a Gucci watch, as well as a Casio G-Shock watch. I will link those videos in the description for you, or you can also click on the links I'm putting up on your screen right now. So let's get started with this video. So the first thing you want to do is head to the App Store and search for an app called Clockology. Once you find the app, you want to download it and install it on your iPhone. Then open the app and the first thing you're going to see is this message that you can swipe down and ignore for now. Once you have downloaded this app, it should automatically appear on your Apple Watch. But if it doesn't, head to your Apple Watch app and then scroll all the way down. And if you see a button on the right that says install, then that means it's not installed on your Apple Watch yet. As you can see, as I click on mine, it says that it's already installed on my Apple Watch. So I'm all set with that. But if you don't, you can always install it right there. When you open the Clockology app for the first time and you click on any of the pre-made watch faces within the app, you're going to see this pop-up message here where Clockology is asking you if they can access all your information. In my case, I'm going to allow Clockology to access all my information and click on turn on all categories. So Clockology installs some pre-made watch faces within their app in the example clocks folder. If you can't find this folder, click on the search bar and type Clockology. As you can see here, I found the folder within my iPhone files named Clockology. So click on that and it takes me right back to the folder where I was in. Click on the example clocks. The watch faces you see here are just okay. But before I can show you the really exciting watch faces, we have to change some settings within our Apple Watch app in our iPhone. So let's do that. Open the Apple Watch app within your iPhone and click on general. Then scroll down and find wake screen. Here, we want to change the return to clock time to the maximum time available. In my case, it's one hour, so I'll change it to that. And I also like to change the on tap time to 70 seconds. This way, your Apple Watch screen will always return to the Clockology app rather than the Apple Watch generic watch face. If you have the Apple Watch Series 6 or Series 5 and you have always on display turned on, you're going to see this clock appear here. Now, in my preference, I prefer it this way, but I know a lot of people do not like it. So there's a way we can remove this and just have the Apple Watch screen go dark whenever it goes to sleep, as if you didn't have an always on display. In the Apple Watch app, go to display and brightness and go to always on and turn off always on display. Another very common problem you could encounter is a clock on the top right corner of your Apple Watch. In order to get rid of this, we're going to go to Facebook and find a group called Clockology Fans. And then you want to go to the announcements tab. And right now I don't see the link in here. So I'm going to go back and search for enable beta file and then just search. Maybe someone here has posted a link to it. Um, right here I see one, so I'm going to click on it and then I can see that they have a Mediafire link. So I'm going to click on that and then in order to download it, you're going to want to click on the three dots and open this link in browser. This way you're going to be able to download it. Now click on download and download again. Now you have downloaded this file. So if you click down here, you can see your downloaded file. So click on that and it'll open the Clockology app. So let's swipe down out of here and here you can see what you have downloaded. So press on it and click on watch sync. Then click on sync again. And now open the Clockology app in your Apple Watch. And if you see this pink dot right here, that means you're good to go. Now turn off your Apple Watch to reset the Clockology app. Now let's turn the Apple Watch back on and open the Clockology app again. Now you will see this pink dot again if you haven't synced any watch face. But as you can see, the clock on the top right in your Apple Watch would no longer be there if you had this problem. All right, now let's download some sweet Apple Watch faces. If you go back to the Clockology Fans Facebook group, and I just want to say thank you guys for creating all of these designs. These guys are all developers creating and sharing their own designs and for free, you know, and willingly. So you always have to be thankful for that. But if you scroll down here, you can see a lot of different people sharing designs and whatnot. And if you see something you like, they usually have links to it. Look at this beautiful design. Come on. 
So, you know, if you see something you like, you can download it for your Apple Watch. If you're looking for a specific design, also you can go up here to the search bar and search for it, like a Rolex Daytona. I already have this watch face, so what I'm gonna try to do is go back and try to find an Apple Watch face that I don't have and install it so that I can show you how, you know, what the process is like. So let me go back here and search for another Apple Watch face that I don't have yet. I don't have this one yet, so I'm gonna download this one to my Apple Watch and let's see how that goes. So as you can see here, if you click on see more, uh, they usually have a Mediafire link or other types of links that you can download the watch faces from. So click on it and an important thing here you wanna do is click on the three dots and open in browser. Once it's open in the browser, click on download and then you wanna click on download again. So if you click up here on the right again, you would see your download right here. So let's go back to the Clockology app and let's take a look at the watch face that I just downloaded. So as you can see it, it's right here. It would be the Psycho Astron Apple Watch face. This is how you would sync the watch face. So you press on it and click on watch sync. Then you wanna click on sync and it's now synced to your Apple Watch. Now, but you wanna have the Apple Watch app open in order for this to be able to work out. So as you can see, it just synced to my Apple Watch and it was just as easy as that. And now I have it on my Apple Watch and it looks amazing. This is a beautiful design. That's what I'm talking about. If you're trying to sync multiple Apple Watch faces to your Clockology app to suit different styles, let me show you a possible mistake you could be making right now. So let me sync this new Apple Watch face and let me show you what happens when you leave the replace clocks option on. So as you can see, the Apple Watch is synced, but the old Apple Watch face is gone. So it's not allowing me to have multiple watch faces on my Apple Watch. So what I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna sync this new watch face and I'm gonna click watch sync. And what I'm gonna do now is unselect the replace clocks option. So I'm gonna click sync. And as you can see now, the new watch face is synced and the old Apple Watch face is available when I swipe left to right or right to left. And last one, press on your new watch face and click on stay alive. As you saw, there's also options within the watch face. If you click here, um, you also have the option of locking the swipe in motion in case you're trying to lock in one specific watch face and you don't want to change it by mistake. But that was it for this video, guys. A Clockology fans admin from the Facebook group asked me to make this video and I really hope it was useful to you. Definitely subscribe to this channel if you're into cool stuff like this. I'm working on something super exciting for my next video. So you definitely don't want to miss that. And I will see you in the next one. Clap the room, I'm coming through. They want to see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Extra, extra, read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. I put commas over bullshit.